Firefighting was a dream job for Luis Gonzalez when he beat hundreds of other candidates to get into this Vancouver recruitment class of 2013. He thought he'd love it. But one week in, he says, racial slurs began based on his Hispanic background. I've worked in other fire services and it was, it was not like this. You know, a lot of it was to do, I believe, due to my race. Gonzalez says training officers and his captain constantly harassed him, dismissed him as the Mexican. At one point, his fire hall was plastered with posters suggesting he was stupid and lazy with the words Slowpoke Rodriguez based on this cartoon. Slowpoke Rodriguez? Featuring the slowest mouse in all of Mexico. Gonzalez, who was actually born in El Salvador, started dreading work, started drinking, went to counseling. I remember flashbacks of the stuff that I went through, and it just angers me, plain and simple. I should have stood up for myself more. Gonzalez says senior members of his crew also told anti-Asian and Indo-Canadian jokes. He finally quit and filed a complaint with the city of Vancouver. That's clearly unacceptable. The city investigated found Gonzalez did not experience racism, but was the victim of disrespectful, harassing conduct. No one was disciplined. There was not sufficient grounds, uh, based on the information that we had, uh, to pursue disciplinary sanctions against any individual employee. The city doesn't keep track of the number of visible minorities hired by the fire department, but Gonzalez's class was far from the first of predominantly white male recruits. Luis Gonzalez has now filed a complaint alleging racism with the B.C. Human Rights Tribunal. It has to decide whether the complaint will be heard. The Vancouver Fire Department says the complaint is not in the public interest. Meantime, we've heard from firefighters in other cities who say they too have faced racial discrimination. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.